Good evening. Parents at the meeting tonight were upset, saying they do not feel comfortable sending their kids to Cerritos High School, and they want solutions from administrators. We're obviously here because we're very concerned at what's going on in Cerritos High School. At the Cerritos Sheriff's Station, parents packed the safety committee meeting Wednesday, voicing concerns about their kids' safety at Cerritos High School. Is my child safe? Can I know for sure that I can send my son to school tomorrow and that I'll have him back in the afternoon? I can't, and that's scary. The public outcry follows several incidents at Cerritos High School. In February, a student was involved in a shooting, viral social media video capturing the gunshot. Then last week, another viral video shows a fight in a classroom. And on Wednesday, a school threat circulated on social media. Police say the threat was incredible, but it still caused a stir. This is not a good atmosphere for kids. It just isn't. A captain from the L.A. County Sheriff's Department spoke at the meeting. We have to work together to get this resolved, and I hear you. And just to let you know, we have been on the forefront of this. At a recent ABC Unified School District board meeting, members discussed what could be done. We are seeing and hearing about behaviors that are intense. And it is my opinion that these behaviors are beyond the scope of the school. The president of the Board of Education, Sue Yu, says there is an increased police presence at the high school for now. At Cerritos High School, we will continue to uh, work on improving security. And as the students are coming out of pandemic, it's been very difficult. And this uh, violence is happening uh, across other schools. And that's not an excuse. And parents hope the additional support will help. There's a lot of things going on on that school campus that is horrifying. The district plans to provide more resources at the high school, including training. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Fox 11 News.